going to look at the formula for the area, surface area of a sphere. So you should already know by now that the area of a circle is a formula of pi r squared. So all you need to know is the radius of a circle and you can find its area. So the area is the shaded in part. That's the area of the circle. Now if we are looking at a three-dimensional object, so if we try to portray a circle in three dimensions as a sphere, so if we think about a shadow, think about a ball that we have, We want to see what the formula is. If we were to have uh, balls that we wanted to paint, we might want to know the surface area. How much paint is it going to take to cover this ball? Or if you have a, a round shape, a water tower that you're going to paint, you would need to know this, calculate the surface area for what you're going to cover. Or if the top half of the water tower is round, then you would take half of the formula we're going to look at. So to visualize uh, a ball, think about a tennis ball or a baseball and how they have these sleeves, these curved shapes on them. If you rip this uh, sleeve off and try to flatten it out, I think visually this may help you remember the formula for the surface area of a sphere. So you'd have two of these. They, they both cut together to form that uh, ball as they bend them around. And as we look at the shapes of those sleeves, we see what looks like circles. And we see four of them. And each one of these circles has an area of pi r squared. So if I were to take pi r squared and add pi r squared for each one of these circles, or if you want to just think of, I have four of them, so I take four times pi r squared. Either way, the formula for the surface area of a sphere is four pi r squared. So I hope this visual helps you to remember this formula by thinking through and using one formula that you have had memorized and you can get this one for free.